hello everyone so yesterday we worked on this integrating milky way texture into the sky sphere and you can see it appears now uh, it looks nice but we have a problem the problem is in the daytime also we see that so if i switch to daytime you see it's still there so this is what we are going to work on now so if we are directly changing the time here like this we can simply make the star sphere visible and invisible but uh, in the runtime when we go from night to day when the sunrise and when the sunset mm -hmm. we should smoothly see the star sphere appear rather than just uh, instantly making it visible so okay so let's open the blueprint time of day and this is where the star sphere is now here i'll add a custom event toggle star sphere Visibility. Oh, let's just say it over the star sphere. And I'll add an input also in enable. So if we pass true here, we should make it enable. If we pass false, we should make it invisible or disable. So without thinking about the smoothly appearing and fading out part, let's just implement just simple enable and disable visibility. Set visibility. Oh, we don't really need a branch for this. So now, where should we call this? Here sunset and sunrise huh we can call it here uh, just like we activate these meteors auroras and everything here i'll call turbo star sphere this is sunset so we should call it with the false and turbo star sphere here we should call it with a true. Now, if I switch to daytime, I still see that. Oh, sorry. In the night time, we should enable it after the sunset. In the daytime, we should disable it. Why do we still see that? Oh no, it is working. Maybe I didn't compile it. Oh, wait. Something is off. So, if I change to night time, we can see if I again switch to daytime, it disappears. But if I type another daytime time again, it appears for some reason. What if we set the default state of a star sphere invisible? Let's see. Yeah, switch to night time. Okay, another night time. Oh, it disappeared. When I start playing, it appears. Right. Okay, so what happens is here I have this. Uh, do once not enable so because of that if i change in the same time it doesn't call this part so that's why we don't see the visibility change but if i change to a day time and then night time it works okay now to the smooth how should we do that for this i think we would need the 
branch if it is true we should enable it so let's have a timeline fade in oh in order to work in order to this to work we need to set up some parameter to control the transparency of this dust beam. So let's add a multiplier here and promote this to a parameter. Mm. Opacity multiplier. By default, I'll leave it at one so that we can see this does maybe we'll need to switch to zero okay apply now here i'll add a track a flow track mm -hmm. let's call it capacity multiplier initially it should be zero And then one. Five seconds should be fine. Here should be zero. Okay. Now here I'll connect this to play from start and before we start uh, here true means we need to enable the visibility so we should make the star sphere visible and then again get a reference set material scalar parameter value on materials date capacity multiply value can directly connect like this okay I don't think we would see a smooth appearing or disappearing in the runtime. But if I play, see, the stars appeared smoothly. Let's test this closer to the sunset. So, seven D. Point five. So now we are closer to the sunset. Let me speed up the time a little bit and slow down. Fifty-five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, the stars appeared. We can slow down it even further if we want. So all you have to do is here instead of 5 you can have 10 or whatever the value you need and extend this. Now the change opacity multiplier will change from 0 to 1 in 10 seconds okay now that's for the appearing part for the disappearing part let me duplicate this here mm. let's rename this and out and i'll change this initial value would be one this value would 
the end value will be zero like this okay now if this is false play from the start just like before and then keep updating the value and once it is finished once it is fully invisible the stars are fully invisible not here we can just turn off the visibility that's good for performance rather than having a fully transparent object all right wait we can just mark this as true okay um yeah that's it so let's go closer to the sunrise so we can see the stars oh there will be a problem because we should start a bit there should be at least 10 seconds to f appear the stars in the sky so you see if I go here this part is still working okay done now let me speed up a little bit oh did it disappear at once it did why oh sorry i haven't connected this my bad okay now it should work Stars are still appearing. Okay, we gave it 10 seconds now, fully appeared. Now they should start to disappear. See, they faded up okay so yeah that's all i uh, wanted to do for today in this episode here we get the sun from this side so thanks for watching as always, project files will be available for download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you would like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.